Okay. okay. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Kent. I'm an Office Development MVP and a member of the core team. And again, I'm going to show you another exciting list formatting quick tip. All right. This, uh, this tip can be used in both uh, column formatting and view formatting. Uh, but I'm going to show you in column formatting. However, this tip is going to be an Office 365 only tip. It's not going to work in SharePoint 2019 on premise. Okay. So let's take a look. So it's pretty common that you want to reference local resources within your format, whether that's, you know, a link and you're trying to set that href attribute, right, to, you know, link to either a list that's on the site or a specific library, um, or if it's an image, right, where you're trying to link to those images that are stored directly inside a document library. Right, so there's two options in the past, and these are the only two options that are available to SharePoint 2019. You can do a hard-coded URL. That's where you're going to put that whole tenant URL, and you're going to put it all the way to your site, and then you're going to build the link that way. Um, so the nice thing about this is it's always going to work. Um, yeah, is it bad? It is bad, Joel. It's bad. All right, but it's not reusable cross-site. So if you want to grab that format, right, and some of these formats can get kind of complicated. You don't want to be going back and manually editing, you know, your formulas that have created these links. Uh, so it's just not reusable. Um, and again, hard-coded, we don't want that. So the other option uh, is a relative URL. This is where you're going to do like a dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash. We'll show you a couple examples of that. Nice thing about this, it's reusable across sites, uh, but it's super dependent on the relative location that the format is rendered, which sounds a little weird. I'll show you what I mean. But it makes it pretty fragile. So what do you do instead? And that's what I'm going to show you. It's at current web. This is a brand new um, magic string or special string or token, whatever term you want to use. But the nice thing about using this is it's the same as getting that web absolute URL. Uh, one thing to note, it does not end with a slash, so provide the slash yourself. So let's take a look. What does that mean? What does that actually look like? So if we go to our standard Warrior Horses site here, now, let's say I've got my warrior horses. We're preparing for battle, but I'm trying to organize what kind of horse gear do we have to fight in our battles. So I've got this nice gear list over here, right? Now, I've got my gear. You know, I've got a jetpack. i got orange slices, whatever it is. And I want to rate it on the level of evilness, right, of my gear. So I've got that here, and then I've got a list to help plan things, right? So you can go to the navigation. But this is boring. So... Let's take a look at some of our options. So the first one um, is a link, right? So if we take a look at a format here, and these are samples that are available on our repo, which I'll give you the link for that in just a little bit here. So if I go for the hard-coded route, right? So if you take a look at this, it's pretty simple. It's just generating a link, right? And I'm setting that href. I'm building it. I'm sending it to whatever the current field is, so the name of that list, right? But I've got my whole tiny URL in here. And that works, right? So I'm going to grab that, and I copy that, and I go back. All right, and I'm going to format this thing, format this column, and I just paste it in there. All right, and if I preview that, right, that works. So I can actually click that. It opens up. There we go. All that works. That's great. But if I try and use that anywhere else, we're no good, right? So the other option is I do a relative link. All right, so I grab this thing, and you can see I've got dot, dot, slash, because I know I'm already in the list when I'm rendering within the list view, I can do that, and that'll work as well. So I come back in here, I'm going to grab that, I'm going to paste that, I'll we'll preview that, and if I actually take a look, right, so if I open up my dev tools, and I inspect what actually got generated there, you'll see it's literally doing the dot, dot, slash, so it's relying on your browser to understand where it is in the structure of the site. So, again, that will work. So if I click these things, you know, we get the, the link. It opens up just fine. So if you're always rendering with the list view, that's not a problem. This becomes super obvious, however, when you start dealing with uh, images. So if we take a look at images, I'm going to skip over. Let's see. Let me grab the right thing here. So if we go to our images, where's the image one? Right here. So, so I've got a hard-coded image. So in this one, I've got my evilness, right? All I'm doing is I'm setting that source, right, and I'm building a PNG based on that choice field. Just because I've got a folder in my shared documents library, again, this will work. You know, that'll work everywhere until I try and reuse that. And if I do the same thing with a relative one, right, we can see this. So I've got a dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash. It gets a little complicated trying to figure out where are we relative. 
you know, to the folders. But I can grab that, and we'll see if I come in here and I'm going to format this column instead. All right, so let's go to column settings, format this column. You notice I've got this nice new uh, option here for choice columns. I'm going to set and say advanced mode. All right, so I can paste the format directly, paste that in, and preview that, and actually save that. All right, so now I've got, you know, these evilness scale badges. Very exciting. Right, let's get rid of this thing. But if I come over here to a regular pair or a nested page, right, that's going to work. So nested just means it's at the same level. I put this in a folder. All right, so I've got a little folder. If we can see it here. Let me see if we can zoom in there. So you got Warrior Pages, Site Pages, Special. So I've got a folder, so it's at the same level, so it just happens to kind of work out right now. But what about a regular page where I've got this on here? If I refresh this. Oh, gosh, it's broken, and I'm so sad, right? So the point is, the format, which I think is working just great over here, actually breaks dependent upon where it's rendered. We don't want that. That's terrible, right? So we could go the hard-coded route, but again, once we try and reuse that, maybe we're using that as part of our provisioning. We're trying to put that across sites. That's going to require manual intervention in our format, and that's terrible. So good news. We've got this whole other thing here, which is called the local image format. We can use this token. So you'll see right here this at current web. So if I just build it with that, so I say at current web, and then I provide my own slash. Again, the current web does not end the slash. I can point it to share documents evilness. So I build that string the exact same way, but I'm no longer putting my tenant in there, and I'm not putting my very specific site in there. So let's grab that guy and go back in there. Where we got? There we go. Go back to our gear list. All right, I've still got this open. I'm going to copy all that. I'm going to delete it, paste my new one. I'm going to save that. You'll see it still works here just fine. If I go to my, we'll go to my nested page. We'll see. Oh, it still works there. Now I go to my regular page. Oh, 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 oh. It works. Oh, my gosh. So here's the point. The point is use at current web whenever you can. Get rid of all of your relative or hard-coded links. Uh, whether that's your links or your image sources, anytime you're trying to reference something on the site, use that at current web. It's going to make a huge difference for you. And that's the whole tip. Oh, and uh, last thing here is here are some resources for you. So you always get the full documentation. Uh, there is an update. Uh, there's a pull request for an update to make sure at current web is documented. And then, of course, these samples are out there. And here's a blog post that goes in a little more detail about all of that and what's available with the current web. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time.